Welcome back super creators, Anna here and today we're reviewing another tablet. This bad boy right here is called a Vake 2200 Pro. I hope I'm saying it properly. So I'm very excited to share with you the experience that I've had with this tablet as I was reviewing it over a couple of days. So hopefully it will help you make better decisions as to what tablet you should get for yourself. And if you want to check out more overviews of my tablets, you can do so right here. So this is a review unit sent to me by Vague Company themselves. But this review, like all of my reviews, is an honest opinion. I'm not paid to say anything. I'm just sharing on my personal experience and what I think about this tablet. This one was launched in March of 2022, so it is a brand new unit. My first time reviewing this company's product. I'm very excited, so let's get to it. Oh, I almost forgot, but Vic is doing a giveaway of this tablet. So if you want to try your luck and hopefully win this bad boy, check the details down below in the description. They're the one hosting it and they're going to be the one sending you the tablet, but you can enter link in the description. All right, so let's open the box and see what's inside. And the box is gigantic. I mean, it is a pretty big tablet. It's called Studio VK2200 Pro and it is 21 0.5 inches. It is 1920 by 1080p, which is a bit of a pity for this size, but it's still deliciously crafted. I really enjoy the design of this tablet. It has the IPS full laminated display, 16.7 million pixels, 120 sRGB, 92% NTSC of true to life color and clarity. And this information and more can be found on their website. I will leave an official link down below. Looking at this tablet, the design is spectacular. It looks so good. I really enjoy having it on my table right now that it is all set up. I think it's one of the strongest features of this tablet. The design itself is very inspiring, clean, luxurious. I love it. Uh, other things, there could be improvements, but we will talk about it pretty soon. So another part that I absolutely love is that it features a stand and that stand is sturdy. It is so easy to adjust. It has so many options. It goes from 15 to 85 degrees angle and I love that. So this is a big plus for this tablet. Let's now look what else is inside the box. So if we open the little box inside of the big box, we see a quick start guide. And that is also awesome because it features all the information that you need to plug in the tablet to your computer or laptop correctly. It explains the options that you have, how to download a driver, um, the buttons and what they do and all that sort of information, you know, the usual stuff that a lot of us don't read until we kind of don't know what to do. Then we have a driver download instructions card. We got two pens, that's right. Instead of one pen, they gives you two. Maybe because they know that a lot of us artists tend to lose our pens even if we have a pen and holder standing nearby guilty as charged and they also have these two pen holders kind of they're these like pouches and one actual pen holder so it's pretty awesome stuff and they also included some extra pen nibs so you can switch up your pen nib if it gets worn out if you draw a lot all that stuff so we have a power cable and power adapter, HDMI cable and USB to USB-C cable, and USB-C to USB-C cable. So now let's talk about the setup and my favorite part of these review videos, which is removing the screen protector that comes on most screens so the actual screen wouldn't scratch and let's do it right now. So as we removed the screen protector, we can see that there were some scratches on it, but not on the actual screen. The screen is beautiful. It's brand new. It's fresh, not a mark on it. And it's always exciting, just like walking on unwalked fresh snow. 
And so definitely it's not as reflective as the screen protector. Just look at my lights on the ceiling. You can really see the difference there, how the light sort of spreads and is softer. And that's good because we don't want that extra reflection. So I plugged it into the power outlet and then I plugged the USB-C to USB-C cable into my Mac and it turned on right away. Everything seemed to be working just fine. And even the pen worked right away on it, even though I didn't install the pen driver. But here is the first big issue that I came into contact with when it came to this tablet. So there goes the first problem. And that is that I downloaded the driver from their website but when I installed it, it kind of ran some code and I'm not a coder, I'm not that fancy. Um, those people are way too smart. Anyway, so some code ran, I was like, okay, I guess it's supposed to be like that. And um, there was no program, no program opened, you know? So there was like no way for me to adjust any settings. I couldn't find it. I was so confused anyway. So I emailed them and I asked them like, what's up? You know, let me know. Is this supposed to be like this? What's happening? You know, I told them that I have Mac and apparently if you are a Mac M1 user, there's like a whole freaking tutorial on how to install the driver itself. They sent me a link to it. So if you are a Mac M1 user, I will leave a link in the description below. There's like steps that you have to follow in order to actually open the driver. I feel like I just got the tablet. I want to plug it in. I want to install the driver, adjust the settings as quickly as possible because it's like such a tedious and silly part. And then I just want to get to drawing because that is the fun part. That is why I got this tablet, you know, but I did get it to work. However, I tried adjusting what the keys, the shortcut keys do and there was no luck. I adjusted it. It shows that it's adjusted, but when I was pressing on the keys, it still did the same thing as the default settings. So driver for Mac, uh, not good. And I keep saying for Mac because, so I have this old Mac laptop, but it has Windows installed on it. So I took it out of like wherever I, I was hiding because I'm not using it anymore. And so I plugged in the HDMI cable, USB-C to USB cable, and voila, it worked right away. There was an actual app the actual software that I could open, the adjustments that I did actually worked, like everything worked and I calibrated it, calibration worked. It was so good, so fast. So if you have Windows, you will have no problem. I honestly believe it because even with my old as hell laptop, I had zero issues. And uh, at first you could see some parallax between the screen and the pen, but after calibration, it was actually pretty darn good. So everything works if you're a Windows user, if you're a Mac M1 users, good luck to ya. Now that we're done with the silly driver part, you know, I hate that part from all of my videos. It is the most annoying to set everything up, but Anyway, it has to be done. Let's talk about testing. And there are good and bad sides here as well. So let's start with the good one. The responsiveness of the pen, like the pen pressure on this tablet, it is one of the best that I've actually experienced in all the tablets that I've had. So it does compare with one of the more higher up tablets, more expensive tablets. So the responsiveness of this is very good. And what I mean by that is when I press very, very gentle and very lightly, you could barely see the pain strokes on the tablet and the harder I pressed, the uh, more paint you could see on the tablet. So that's kind of what I mean. And I was very impressed by how responsive it was to my movements. I've tested it quite a lot. I did a few strokes and it was very lovely. And now onto the less positive side, which is jitter. I always tested by drawing lines quickly and then slowly. And you can see when you draw lines quickly, there is no jitter, which is the usual thing. But when you draw lines slowly, there's usually some 
incoherences and they're not like because my hand was shaking obviously there are some wiggly lines whatever but they're very consistent so that's how you can tell that it's because of the either the driver or something I'm not sure but anyway so I tested it with my hand I saw the jitters then I tested it with two different rulers it was still there so that kind of sucks and I have to say though, when I was painting, I didn't notice any of that. But also I do a normal to fast speed paint strokes. I never really have to draw slow, precise strokes because of the style of my work. So if you are a line artist, you will notice it. If you do slow lines, you'll probably notice it. Uh, but for painting and stuff like I do. If I didn't do the test, I would never be able to tell that that is there. So again, it goes back to personal preference. What kind of work do you do? Do you tend to draw very slowly? Because if so, um, you might have some problems. But if you draw to normal, to medium, to high speed, then uh, you probably won't ever notice it. And also the good part is that when I was drawing a uh, very quick strokes, there was no lagging. It just kept following my hand, my movements. And that is great because that means there's still some hope for this tablet. Now, finally, on to the drawing, my favorite part of these reviews because I get to draw and usually for these reviews I just draw whatever I want and this was no exception. It was such such a fun experience to paint this pink haired lady that you've been seeing throughout the whole video. She is my persona for the evening that I was painting. I really felt like I wanted to be left alone that day. I wasn't in too uh, and too nice of a mood, but I was having loads of fun with this drawing. So in general, it was very fun to work with this tablet, uh, to draw on it. Uh, it was very enjoyable. And as I said, the responsiveness is great. There's no lagging. The only thing was that as you come closer to the edges, you can see the parallax, which is a little bit annoying, uh, but otherwise, like since you're painting mostly in the middle, which is what I do, you don't really notice it throughout the process, but when you like move to create a new layer or something, uh, that a little con confuses you a little bit uh, for a second, but it's something you can get used to, no problem, or you can calibrate if you have windows and then that problem's gone again. If we talk about the actual specs of this tablet a little bit, so the screen is like I already mentioned, 1920 by 1080, and it's kind of a pity uh, because it's such a big and beautiful screen. It is so well done. It is such a nice design. And if you really look closer, you will notice some pixelation. It's not a big problem if you've never worked with like a 2K screen or 4K screen because it is still incredible. It is very, very good quality. Uh, the screen itself, I enjoy a lot. It's the fact that it is a big size and it's only 1920 by 1080 and being a spoiled girl like I am, I would really appreciate the 2K, but it's okay. You know, you don't really notice it anyway. Your eyes get used to it. But if you look from the tablet to your laptop back to the tablet and you have like a laptop that is a good quality or your computer screen that's a good quality, it is a bit noticeable, but it's not a big deal. And then as I said previously, it's 21.5 inches and it's fully laminate display. Also, uh, one of my favorite features was the two quick dials because I actually did use them and I enjoy them a lot. One of them I used for zooming in and out and the other one for changing the brush size of my brushes. And it does make the process faster and smoother. So I really do enjoy the quick dials. I wish every single tablet had them. And if I was buying a custom tablet that was made specifically for me, it would just have two dials and maybe like two buttons and that's it. <laughs> that's all I would be using but the dials are so cool uh it just 
it's so smooth to work with them. So definitely I love them. If you like quick dials as well, it is a fun and fast way to work. And as for the pen, it is a PO5 battery free pen with 8,192 levels of pressure sensitivity and 60 degree tilt, which is the usual stuff. Glad they have a check mark on that point. And 290 PPS high report rate. It's a nice design. It's very slim, but like what my impression of the vape company is that they know how to design their stuff because this tablet is designed super well. And I do have to mention you guys that I'm judging it a little bit harshly here, but the price point of this tablet kind of allows them to do this. They had to cut some corners in order to make it as affordable as it is. So the price of this tablet at the time of recording this video is $469. Yes, it's still a good amount of money. However, the tablets of this size are usually starting at $600. So you're paying $150 less for this tablet. And I feel like the only real, I guess, cutback that they have done would be the 1920 by 1080p screen quality and also the driver. That is something that should be fixed. It is compatible with most apps and devices, as you can see on their website. So now let's talk about the pros and cons of this tablet. And I feel like you know already most of the things that I'm about to say. So I'm gonna go through them pretty quickly. So let's talk about the cons first. The driver for Mac OS M1, it is a big con because you know, it's a long process to install. It doesn't perform well, can't calibrate it. The key keys didn't work for me, but you can still use it. So I guess that's okay, but it still goes into a con section. Then we have that it is a large screen, but it's only 1080p. So you can see some pixelations when you look uh, closer, but it is a bit offset by the price point, which is a very good price point uh, for this particular tablet. It has jitter on slow stroke. So if you are a very precise line artist who likes to draw slow strokes, you will notice it, unfortunately. Ooh, it's also a button menu that has to go on the con section, but that's, that's my personal one. Okay. Because I don't like button menus. Uh, I'm, I get very confused which one's back, which one's enter, like, yes, no. And then I just end up turning off my, uh, tablet like five times because I just panic and I press that button. Anyway, that's pretty stupid and it's pretty personal, but again, you're here for my opinion. So there it goes. Now let's talk about the pros of this beautiful tablet right here. And that's a tip for you because the number one thing that I love about this tablet is how gorgeous it looks. It looks luxurious, elegant, slim, beautiful. It stands on a table. And if we were in a video game right now, you would see my inspiration points recovering and going back up. That's how much I love having it on my table. And there's nothing I can say more about that. I think they did a very good job making it look like an expensive, beautiful tablet. Also the quick dials, the quick dials, quick dials, quick dials. They're so good. I wish every tablet had them. They make your drawing experience faster, especially if you zoom in and out a lot or change the brush size a lot as I do in my process. It makes the process faster and also more enjoyable. Pressure sensitivity is king and it's so good on this tablet. It goes on a pro section. The driver and the calibration and the shortcut keys all work on Windows. So if you have Windows, you have no problem with that. So that goes in the pro section for you. I did not experience any lagging or latency as I was using this tablet. The stand angles into all sorts of angles and it's very sturdy and it works well because it never fell, never like crashed for me. It was so easy to figure out. The stand goes on a pro section too. It offers two different connection options. So for those of you who are able to use just the USB-C cable, less cables for you. And if not, you have the other option. So it works well. 
and it is a great big size screen which has to go in a press section because a lot of big screens you know this and it's super fun to work on a big screen just imagine doing like uh figure drawing studies or something it's so fun just overall i think it's a pretty good tablet i think this tablet is going to be fantastic for those who are just starting in digital art for beginners and uh, doesn't necessarily mean beginners in art in general but like in digital art also for in intermediate artists because I think it's a very good size and it's beautiful and the pressure sensitivity works well if you get past the driver issue if you get past the jitters on slow uh, slow motions then really it is a very wonderful piece so yeah if you're looking for an affordable display large tablet that works pretty well and if you have windows I suggest giving it a look. Now, don't forget about the giveaway. Enter down below in the description if you do have this tablet or any other tablets by Vague, or if you agree or don't agree with my review, please do let me know in the comments down below. I would love to hear from you. And as always, keep creating, stay creative, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.